Hey everybody, it's Emma. Thank you very much for joining me in this video today. I am doing some Christmassy type of makeup. I would like to do a few holiday tutorials. I hate to use the word tutorial because I am by no means a professional, as you know if you've watched any of my other makeup application videos. But it is fun and I kind of want to try something a little bit different. I definitely want to do the typical glittery, gold, red lip, that whole thing. But today I want to switch it up. I don't know if this is going to turn out well. I don't know if this is ever going to make it onto the internet, but <laughs> we'll see. So I'm planning on doing like a red eye, red liner, green lip, just, you know, flip it. So. Let's enter the great experiment. As always, I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer. Now something that is very exciting, I have needed to get a job for a while. I mean, I, I work full time as a yoga teacher, but it is, it's, it's not a very financially sustainable career for me at the moment anyway. And I'm not, I'm not really qualified for a lot of other gigs, so I've just been looking at kind of random retail and restaurant and all that stuff. But I figured if I have to work that sort of job, might as well work somewhere where it, it might be fun and uh, I would enjoy the discount. So I did apply to Ulta and I have a interview, an interview, brother. I have an interview on Saturday. It's uh, Thursday right now. So that's super exciting. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'll definitely keep y'all posted. I don't really want to do eyeshadow, but I want to have a little something over my lid. So I'm actually going to use this highlighter from Wet n Wild. It's the Mermaid uh, Midnight Moon Highlighter. I'm going to use this fluffy angled brush. This is a limited edition brush from Real Techniques from a few years ago. And this is just going to add a little bit of a sheen. It's got little flecks of kind of pinky glitter in it, so it should go well with the overall look. And I'm just you know, blending that all over my lid up to the brow bone. Now this is where it's going to get interesting. I'm going to use this Hard Candy Metal Glaze Liquid Foil. I actually really like this. I think I've talked about this in a video before. Ooh, squeaky. So I'm going to put some on the back of my hand and use a fine liner brush from Real Techniques. And we'll see how this goes. I'm just going to line my lid for the moment. I want to add a little bit of black. So I'm going to sneak a little bit of black pencil liner. This one is from Too Faced. Just kind of tight lining. And by just kind of tight lining, I mean tight lining. All right, I want to do my base next. I'm using my Buxom Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation. It's in the shade Tickle the Ivory. Of course, in time for that interview, I have a giant painful pimple coming in on my chin. My skin has been just amazing for the past, like, couple months. It's really been wonderful. And uh, and now my skin's like, actually, let's break out. Got to make up for lost time. Blending this in with a Real Techniques buffing brush. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I think I'm actually pretty close to finishing this up. And then blending that in with a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. I'm going to set that with my NYX No Filter Powder in the shade Pulsin. Now I want to go back to that Hard Candy Liquid Foil and make some wings. I really don't hate that. That's exciting. Let me put some mascara on and kind of see where we are. Now because this is a Christmassy look, I might want to add some glitter. So I'm using the Essence 
Volume Stylist. This is the Curl and Hold with Micro Styling Wax. I have to say, I don't, I don't mind the look of this. I like the brush, but it definitely wears away throughout the day. It doesn't hold as well as I would like, even though it says 18 hour on the bottle. 18 hour. I'm assuming that means it will, it's supposed to last for 18 hours. And I find especially on my lower lash line, or on my lower lashes rather, just smudges away, which is not ideal, but it's the only mascara I have right now, so that's what we're using. And it, it layers on itself much better than the Lash Princesses do, but you know, smudging's a problem. I wanna add a little bit of bronzing, so I'm gonna use this makeup stick from Wet n Wild. This is in Call Me Maple. So I'm just dotting it on the high uh, cheekbone, and then dotting it up to my forehead. Using an e.l.f. small stipple brush to blend that in. And even though I totally forgot that I was gonna use this product and I set my face with powder, this still blends in beautifully. And just a touch to my chin. And then whatever's left on the brush along my nose, just so kind of blends in with the rest of my face, but I don't want the, the bronzer to be too obvious. Do you want to do a couple little stamps, I suppose, along my jawline? I'm gonna put the lips on now and then kind of see what else needs to happen. I don't want to put too much blush on and then have it look, well, I'm putting green lipstick on, so awkward is a relative term, but you know what I mean. So for my lipstick, I'm using Siren's Jewel from Wet n Wild. This is one of the liquid catsuit metallic matte liquid lipsticks from the Mermaid collection. And I love it. I actually, I wore it out of the house last night. I taught yoga with this lipstick on my poor students. They never know what version of me they're getting. Call me weird, that's fine, but I love this look. I'm gonna use this blush in Floral Majority. This is another one of the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Sticks. I've been looking over my favorite videos from the past year in prep for my kind of year-end favorites video, and these makeup sticks <laughs> were like in four or five of those. So I think these are probably going in that video. Because it's here, I'm going to top off with a little bit of the Midnight Moon one. Despite the little flecks of glitter in here, it's, <laughs> and it's a really pretty highlight. I got to add a little glitter. You wouldn't have to, but because I have it, I'm going to go in with Smoky Storm. This is one of the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I'm just going to tap that inner corner. Not the actual corner, but like the inner corner of my lid. And then use a finger just to kind of splatter that around. And there we have the finished flip-flopped Christmassy look. I, I am shocked at how much I flip in love this lip. It's so weird, but it somehow works. I feel like this ended up really well. If you have like a red glitter, you could add that along the lower la or the uh, along the lash line just to jazz this up a little bit. You can really, I mean, you can obviously play with this as much or as little as you want. But I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you had fun playing around with me. And if you have any questions, comments, smart remarks, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.